Uh, and again, this kind of uh, complaint or this kind of um, notification coming of, to the television broadcaster, again, this was not disclosed to the public until No Borders showed it. I think you had mentioned something uh, uh, during the lunch uh, about the LDP having a meeting tomorrow uh -huh. on uh, broadcasters and I think the mass media. So uh, 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 uh,放送関係者がその の、私の放送の問題ですね。あの、3月27日私が、え、あそこで発言したことそれから、え、NHKのですね、え、クローズアップ現代という番組が、あの、夜7時半からやっていますけれども、ここでま、やらせっていうのが起きたんですね。で、
be able to truly uh, fight back or uh, express very strong opi opinions in opposition to what is being said to them. Um, I think the word that I would say is that what we're going to be seeing in this meeting is basically a kind of mass lynching and everyone laughed at this. Of course, it will not be anything uh, as, uh, of, as overt, I guess, uh, or as obvious as a mass lynching. I think uh, on the surface, uh, the words that will be used will be very, very polite and very, very respectable, and the questions will be very, very detailed and very, very finely handled. But the fundamental uh, impression that the TV stations will receive is that they will feel a, a great uh, pressure. And I would like to say that uh, the fact that the ruling party uh, has called uh, people responsible for um, programming of uh, programs in a commercial television station. The fact that they are calling these people is, I think, a direct violation of the broadcast law. When we talk about the broadcast law, quite often nowadays we talk about Article 4, or politicians especially like to talk about Article 4, which ensures that broadcasters must give a fair and just um, uh, neutral uh, broadcasting. Uh, but what is more important, I think, is Article 3, and uh, the interpreter does not have the exact wording uh, for uh, what uh, Mr. Koga just read out loud, but basically uh, it says that if a broadcaster uh, is broadcasting something that does not go against um, established laws, then uh, no outside party has the right to uh, intervene or to uh, monitor or, 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 or in any way interfere with that kind of broadcasting. So I'm saying that this um, being called by the LDP to explain their actions goes in violation of Article 3 of the broadcast law. Okay. え、自民党のこの呼び出しは断ってほしいと思うんですね。で、え、もし本当にあの自民党がどうしても話したいというのであれば、どうぞ我が社へお越しくださいと。で、え、それをもう生で放送しながら、え、議論をしましょうということを
各社はですねそのもう自,由自由にいくらで販売してもいいですよと言って販売店に新聞を下ろさなきゃいけなくなるということであの価格を維持できなくなるということであります。ですからそのその特別な例外措置というのを認めているのを認めな,いなくするということが、まあ、政府側の行為で、それによって大きな影響を受けるということです。In regard to your first question,、uh, it is true, as you've pointed out, that the、uh, resale system was basically、um, agreed upon by the major newspapers and magazines.、Uh, in other words,、uh, they are able to apply pressure or force、uh, the stores that handle their products to maintain a certain minimum retail price.、Uh, however,、uh, if a normal company tried to do that, that would go against the anti monopoly law. In other words, it would be an illegal thing. However, there is a special、uh, proviso within the anti monopoly law that allows for newspapers and、uh, magazines. Uh, to be exempted from the anti monopoly law. So the threat、uh, exists that the government could、uh, remove that special exemption、uh, status for newspapers and magazines, in which case the stores would be able to discount、uh, these newspapers as much as possible, and uh, the uh, newspapers and, and magazine、uh, companies would see their、uh, profits decline. It's going to have a huge、uh, impact on their bottom line. So, the pension of the pension is going to be a huge impact on t 私はですねあのもちろん、えー、年金をもらえるのでそういう意味であの普,通普通のっていうか、まあ、普通の人ももらえる人もいますけれどももらえない人もたくさんいるんですねですからそういう方々に比べればはるかに恵まれているので、まあ、逆に言えば、まあ、あの本当につつましやかな生活ができればいいやと思えばですね、えー、別にそんなにあのなんだろう政権にすり寄る必要もないし自粛する必要もないので。だからこそ私はまあ普通に自分の思ったことを言い続けられるんですね、まあ、そういう意味じゃペンションのおかげかもしれませんが<笑>、えー、その点で言うとですねテレビ局では、まあ、テレビ局の正社員はですね非常に恵まれていますもちろん公務員よりもはるかに高い給料をもらえますし今会社に守られているんですが実はあの日本のテレビ局ではですねものすごく多くの非正規の職員が働いています、まあ、派遣労働が多いんですけれどもこの人たちはですね、まあ、あの会社によっていろいろあると思いますが私あの「報道ステーション」とかですねそういうところの人たちと話をしてみたらですね半年契約なんですねそれで給料はですねもうものすごく安いですテレビ局の人と全く同じを仕事をしていても2分の1以下というのが普通ですあのそういう人もいますじゃなくてそれが当たり前ですねですからあもちろん蓄えもあまりないという中で例えば原発の報道をしていてですね、えー、政権から圧力がかかったという,で、えー、いう時にですねそういう報道を自分は続けたいと思ってですね、えー、問題が起きるかもしれないけど思い切ったそのビデオを作ろうということをやっているとですね半年後に仕事がなくなるかもしれないしかもなくなったらですねペンションなんかない,ないんですから。非常にもうその日から困るとあの私はあのもうこの4月で,です、ね、仕事がなくなっちゃったとっいう人何人も知っていますけれども非常にあの劣悪な環境の中で、えーまあ、働かされている人もいるんです,ですからそう,いう人にそういう人たちが圧力に屈するというのは僕はその生活を捨ててまで戦えというのはなかなかちょっと。えー言えないなと思うんですけれども、まあ少なくとも正社員でですね、非常にいい給料をもらって年金ももらえるという人ぐらいは戦ってほしいなというふうに思います。Uh, yes, as you pointed out in regard to pensions, because I was、uh, uh, a former civil servant, of course, yes, I do receive a pension. And、uh, compared to the、uh, people,、uh, there are people in Japan, of course, who、uh, do not receive pensions. I believe I'm in a very favorable、uh, situation. And as long as I don't try to live a luxurious,、uh, you know, try to follow a luxurious lifestyle, I can manage、uh, because of my pension. And、uh, as a result, I don't necessarily have to try to cozy up to the government or try to、uh, basically. Um, practice self restraint, and this is all perhaps because I do、uh, have this pension. I'm very grateful for it. I would also like to, however,、uh Point out that uh, uh, the uh, regular employees or the official employees of the television stations receive much higher salaries than civil servants, and they also receive much、um, uh, better pensions uh, than uh, we do. 
Uh, at the same time, however, when you look at a, a television station, and I looked at the staff of the Hodo station program where I often worked, uh, a great many people uh, are not official or regular employees of these stations, but rather they are uh, dispatched temporary workers, many of them working on six-month contracts with no guarantee that those contracts will be renewed. And so... Um, not only that, but the salaries that they are receiving are very, very low. Uh, it is not only it is not that you sometimes find people who receive half the salary of a regular employee of a television station, even though they're doing the same they are doing the same work. But rather, that is more or less the norm. Most of these temporary workers do the same work as the regular employees, but they receive, on average, less than half of the salaries, and they receive no company pension uh, as, as as well uh, if they are if they lose their jobs. As a result of these low salaries, uh, they have very little in terms of savings. And so if a person uh, working uh, in under these conditions wants to pursue the nuclear power plant issue or something that might uh, uh, not make the government happy, uh, if they are, however, um, faced with the risk that six months later when their contract comes up for a renewal, they might not get a job, that is very difficult for them. Um, in fact, I already know several people who have lost uh, their jobs as of April of this year. They're working under very, very difficult conditions, again, with very little uh, money. And so it's very difficult for me, uh, given my current situation, to say to them, you must be strong, you must be brave, and you must con you know, continue to create um, pro uh, programs and not bow to pressure. I can't say that to them because they're struggling day to day. Uh, but I think at least for the regular employees of uh, the television stations, which have a very nice salaries, who have very nice salaries, and a very enhanced or enriched um, pension uh, plans waiting for them, I think at least they should stand up. Okay, uh, Michael. And also, um, we've had a lot of questions from foreign correspondents. I mean, if there are any members of the Japanese media or press that would like to ask questions, please uh, come up. Uh, Michael Penn of the Shingetsu News Agency. Actually, the moderator uh, asked the main part of my question, which was about the LDP hearings uh, in which the TV Asahi executives were called in. So I'll just do what would have been my last part of my question, which is that uh, this was posed to Chief Cabinet Secretary Suga yesterday in a press conference. He was asked about this case, and his response was, this is absolutely not pressure, and that it's no problem at all. And so I wanted your reaction to that. How should we as journalists interpret the denial uh, by the Chief Cabinet Secretary that this represents any kind of pressure whatsoever on the media? はい、えっと、ペント申し上げます。新月ニュースエージェンシー、え、のものでございます。え、私もその、明日のその自民党に呼び出されてるえ、という話を聞きたかったんでございますが、もう常にそれでお答えされましたので、え、昨日、え、
十分認識しているという前提でですね、えー、呼び出すとそして番組のその個別の放送について、えー、議論をしますよと、まあ、これは議論だから圧力ではない単なる質問に過ぎないこういうふうに言うんですけれどもその背景にはやはり放送法の免許というのがあって、えーそれえーまあ、聞く人がですね政権与党の人だということであればですね圧力っていうのはあのかけた方は絶対圧力とは言わないんですよ。これあのいじめと同じですねいじ,いじめた人はいじめじゃないというのと同じなんですけれどもですから、えー、相手がどういうふうに受け取るのかということをよく考えた上で自分たちの大きな力というものをですね十分認識した上で、えー、間違ってもですねそういう表現の自由とかですね言論の自由に負の影響を与えないようにと。いうことを配慮して、権欲的にですね、ものを言うべきだと思うんですけれども、そういう姿勢が全く感じられないということだと思います。まあ、菅さんの言葉で言えば、何事も粛々とですね、進められているということだと思いますけれども、であれば、私はもう、放送局はですね、まあ、安倍さん、安倍さんじゃない、その菅さんが、その圧力じゃないと言ってるんですから。じゃあ、圧力じゃないんですねと、じゃあ、勝手にやらせてもらいますよということで、明日の会議は。えー、キャンセルしていただきたいなとテレビ局にはですねそう思います。Um, if、uh, you were a member of the Japanese media, I think you would take the words of the、uh, chief cabinet secretary and the word that is being used is chief cabinet secretary sama, which means the honorable chief cabinet secretary, and just print、uh, his words、uh, at verbatim that it is not pressure at all. However, I think of the people who were in the、uh, press conference, there were no journalists that actually took those words literally and uh, that uh, they did not really truly believe that there was no pressure uh, being uh, applied.、Um, I think uh, that. Uh, People who are in positions of power, who have great uh, influence, uh, must. Fundamentally, understand that their words carry much more weight, that the quality of their words is very, very different from the quality of the words and the weight of the words of the average person.、Um, I think there are many members of this current government, however, who do not understand this fundamental difference. For example, Prime Minister Abe,、uh, when he was、uh, embroiled in a debate uh, in uh, the Diet,、uh, basically countered some of the criticisms、uh, given to him by saying,、um, What's wrong with some of the things that、um, I say? After all, I'm a An individual, and I have the right to freedom of expression.、Uh, in other words,、uh, there are people in the government who do not simply seem to understand the fundamental tenets of、uh, constitutionalism.、Um, And、uh, as I said earlier, Article 3 of the Broadcast Law、uh, prevents、uh, the intervention uh, by uh, government or organizations、uh, in power, and they do not seem to understand that.、Um, I think people in、uh, government. Of course, I should also、uh, qualify that if this meeting、uh, that, that is being called tomorrow is, were being called by the government, I think that would be another issue entirely. The government is a legal entity and they have the right to call uh, uh, such、um, uh, TV Asahi and NHK representatives if they think there is some kind of a social、uh, issue there. However, tomorrow's meeting is not being called by the government, but, but, but by the LDP, a political party. And although they do not say it directly, they know very much that they are the ruling party and they show it、uh, in their stance and in their attitude. And they know that it is on the basis of their being the ruling party that they have the power to call these people to come to the meeting、uh, tomorrow. They say, of course, again,、uh, we're only going to discuss. Uh, g i n o n or debate、uh, this issue. We're only going to ask、uh, questions. But、uh, everyone in the room will understand that behind、uh, their words is the,、uh, the hanging thread of the fact that、uh, the television、uh, stations have licenses,、uh, that, uh, have licenses that have been given on the basis of the broadcast law, and these licenses could possibly be endangered. Um, I would very, very、um, much like to point out that、uh, people who apply pressure don't necessarily recognize that they're applying pressure. It's a little bit like bullying. People who bully other people don't realize that they're bullies. It's not what you,、uh, the bullier or the person applying pressure, thinks, it's what the other side、uh, perceives. If the person thinks that they're being bullied or the person feels that they're being pressured, then there is pressure or bullying、uh, going on.、Um, I think that this is the fundamental understanding that needs to be had by members of the government.、Uh, that, and I think that. It, If they had this kind of understanding, they would show much more consideration and be more circumspect in the words that they use.、Uh, and I also believe that if we are, are going to take the words of、uh, Chief Cabinet Secretary、um, literally and there is no pressure being applied, then I think the broadcaster should be able to speak freely and say, There's no pressure being applied. We don't have to go to this meeting.、Uh, and so we can cancel tomorrow's meeting. 
あちょっとあの今あの私の説明の仕方がちょ,ちょっと分かりにくかったところあると思うんですあのあの政府が呼ぶのは問題ないっていうふうにあの、えー、言ったんですけどその政府が呼ぶことは問題ないんじゃなくてその政府がちゃんとした法律的なあの権限に基づいてその適正な手続きによってあのテレビ局と話をするということはあるんですね法律上。ですからあのそれはそういうちゃんとした手続きに基づいてやるのであれば問題ないという意味であってあの個別の番組の内容について政府があのテレビ局を呼んで何か言うということがいい,い,いという意味ではありません。I、uh, said earlier that the,、uh, there's no problem if it were the government that we're calling tomorrow's meeting, but I would like to clarify that there's more, more of an explanation to that. If, on the basis of、um, some kind of a law,、uh, the government felt it had,、uh, had a right、uh, to call uh, the uh, television stations to come to a meeting uh, uh, to speak with members of the government, if they did that based on law,、uh, based on the authority of the law, and based on、um, Proper procedures, then I think that would be proper.、Um, I'm not by any means、uh, saying that the government has the right to call any member of a broadcaster station because they have trouble with or they disagree with the contents of programming. I'm not saying it's a, it's a simple thing like that.、Uh, Jimbo san, and then, and then you. So I know this might be the last two questions unless、uh, Koga san has a bit more time. I'm going to ask questions in Japanese.、Uh, あのビデオニュースの人望と言います。あのまあ、小川さん、さっきもちょっとおっしゃられましたけども、特に放送の場合はですね。まあ、放送法の問題、あの、えー、放送免許が日本では政府から直接付与されるようになっているということがですね。まあ、政府が明らかに放送局に対して。影響力権力を行使しやすくなっている方も自明のことだと思うんですね。で、まあ、アメリカの fcc とかイギリスのオフコムのような形を取っていないとそこで質問なんですけども、ここまでも明らかにですね。放送局が介入されやすいような制度がなぜ全く変わらないのか。つまりえー、まあ、与党はまあ、これを維持したいと思うでしょう。おそらくね。影響できるので。でも、例えば野党あるいはメディア。の側がですね明らかにこ,のこんな、まあ、国際的にもちょっとおかしな制度なのでねこれを変えようという話あるいは市民からでもいいんですけどもなぜこれが一向に出てこないのか今回の件古賀さんの件をもってしてもいまだにほとんどそういう話はどこでも聞かないそれがなぜなのかをもし古賀さんのお考えあれば教えてください。I'm Jimbo of、uh, Video News.、Um, you spoke earlier about、uh, this problem of the broadcast law and the granting of licenses.、Uh, it's kind of an it's a, in Japan,、uh, this granting of、uh, the broadcasting license、uh, by the government directly、uh, is rather unusual、um, as a system、uh, in the world. I mean, for example, it's very different from the kind of system that we have、um, in the FCCJ. But、um, the fact that、uh, the Certainly,、uh, I can understand the point of view of the ruling party not wanting to change the system because,、uh, in other words, to prevent、uh, government or the powers uh, uh, from uh, intervening in the workings of、um, broadcasters and、uh, other media. But even if the ruling party doesn't want to change, why don't other people speak up? In other words, the opposition parties and maybe the media、uh, themselves, the people in the media themselves, or perhaps uh, civil, uh, civic organizations,、uh, uh, people's uh, action groups. Uh, this is an unusual system, and even with the problems that you have encountered、uh, recently, and this being news, there doesn't seem to be a movement to try to change the current system of the government directly granting uh, the uh, license to the media companies. えっとですね、これはあの非常に難しい問題なんですけど、あのいくいくつかいくつも要因があると思います。あの国民から見るとおそらく何が起こっているのかっていうのはマスコミが報道してくれないとなかなかわかりにくいっていう問題があると思うんですね。というのはそのマスコミと政府との関係ですからそこの部分というのはその政府からは絶対情報を出さないのでマスコミの側が戦うという決意をしてどんどん出すということが起きない限り国民は知りようがないというのが一つです。まあ、今回のように私のようなあのものがちょっと普通とは違う行動をすることによってしかまあ議論を起こせないという状況にあるというのは一つです。それからもう一つはですね日本の,あのまあ、これ全部とは言いませんが大手メディアっていうのはですね基本的にあの既得権側なんですね非常に大きな既得権を持ってるんですよで放送局はもちろん、えー、まあ河川状態で限られた電波の割り当てをですね政府からもらってで,ですから政府に対しては弱い立場なんですけど逆に他のですね競合するメディアとの関係では非常に強い立場にいるわけです独占しているという意味でですね。
、でそれからあの新聞の記者も大手の記者の場合はですね、えーまあ、それぞれの役所とか、まあ、自民党にしても官邸にしてもですね、えー、記者クラブというのがあってこれはもう皆さんよくご存知の通りだと思いますけれども、えーまあ、外国の記者が入れないとかですねあるいは、えー、日本のメディアであってもその記者クラブに入れてもらえるのはごく一部のおまあえー、大きなとところだけであるとでそこに入っていることによってです、ね、何もしなくても自動的に政府や与党のです、ね、情報はもらえてです、ね、そしていつでもフリーにこうそのいろんなところにアクセスできるという特権を与えられているわけですね。ですからなんとなく僕はあのメンタリティーとして、えー、庶民の側に立って。権力を監視するというよりも半分以上もう権力の側にいるんじゃないかなという感覚を非常に持ってますですから、えー、もしもこの例えば放送免許についてですね、えー、政府からその権限を奪って独立の委員会にするとかですねそういうような改革を主張するっていうのはこれは政府から見るとですね非常にあの大きな、まあ、痛手になるわけですから。それが政府をもう、あのなんていうんでしょう、えー、ちょっと嫌な思いをさせるということではなくて、逆鱗に触れるという可能性があるということで、まあ、なかなかそういう議論を持ち出すことができないということになっているんじゃないかなと思います。Um, I think, excuse me. Sorry. Um, I think that、uh, there are、uh, several uh, different uh, reasons for this.、Uh, first of all, The fact that,、uh, as I've explained to you,、uh, the media is holding back from、uh, reporting everything. So, from the point of view of the average person、uh, in the street, they,、um, unless the media gives them the information、uh, about what is going on and gives, gives this kind of background information, they don't understand that there is some kind of a conflict. conflict. So, they have no way of、uh, getting access to this kind of information.、Um, And since、uh, there are two parties involved, the media on the one hand and the government、uh, on the other, and we're talking about the relationship between the two parties, certainly from the government's po、um, point of view, they don't want this、uh, kind of information to be made public. They won't、uh, volunteer this kind of information. And if the media、uh, does not、uh, work up the courage and say, we will fight and we will do everything we can to、uh, battle the government and try to、um, change this system, unless they make that kind of a, a Huge decision. Again, the average person、uh, cannot know about this issue at all. And that's why I think there is no movement or um, uh, any um, efforts to try to change this current system. Um, I believe that also there is another aspect, which is that,、uh, and I won't say all large medium companies, but I think、um, most large media companies in Japan,、uh, if you、uh, Look at them,、uh, they are closer probably to the heart of government, the heart of power, rather than、uh, to the average person on the street.、Um, if you look, for example, at broadcasting stations, uh, the, uh, there's only a certain amount of bandwidth or frequencies that are available, and、uh, there are these major companies that basically dominate them. It's basically like an、uh, Oligopolistic relationship, if the interpreter is getting that word right.、Uh, in other words, there are only a few、uh, parties that are dominating the entire field. On the one hand,、uh, it makes them weak when they are trying to deal with the government, but on the other hand, it puts them in a very advantageous position in terms of potential rivals.、Uh, they are very, very powerful. They don't really want to change、uh, the system. And、uh, there's another、um, aspect, as you all well know,、uh, the system of press clubs, where、um, large、uh, media have access、uh, to、uh, information by、uh, very large organizations, in including arms of the government.、Uh, these, are, these press clubs are limited membership、um, only to、uh, prestigious large media.、Uh, There are many Japanese journalists that cannot enter these press clubs.、Uh, there are many foreigners、uh, that cannot、uh, join them. So, if you are lucky enough to be、uh, part of a major news organization and belong to a press club, you don't even really have to make much of an effort. You get information, very good information, handed to you on a constant basis. You are also given free access、uh, to people and、uh, to places that other people cannot. So, it's a very, very Um, uh, positive relationship. And I think the mentality, therefore, of the people who work for、uh, major media is that they are closer more to the government rather, or to the people in power rather than to the average、uh, person. There is not much of an awareness among members of the press that it is their job to look with very, very sharp eyes at the workings of the government and to monitor for any kind of、uh, misdeeds or wrongdoings.、Uh, so, and again,、uh, they also understand that.、Uh, 
the idea of taking this power to uh, allot these media frequencies and media licenses uh, to the television stations from the government. If there were any movement to try to reform the system, if the media side were to say, let's set up an independent committee and have that committee handle it, then that would be something that would not just simply disturb or the government but would probably make them furious. And that is something, therefore, that the media would very much want to avoid. Okay, go ahead. ドイツテレビの西里です。え、日本語で、え、質問させていただきますが、あの、この機会で、あの、小賀さんの真意というものが、ま、世界に正しく正確に発信されることを、あの、願っておりますし、あの、ありがとうございました。えっと、それで、あ
そういういろんな裏の事情とかは知っているので取っかかりはありますからもちろんあのこの報道の自由の問題だけじゃなくてそういう原子力村の問題とかですねそういうものについて今後もあのいろいろ調べながらですね言うべきことがあれば言っていきたいと思っています。<笑> Excuse me. <clears throat> the question was from、um, German、uh, television, and basically,、uh, she was, the、uh, questioner was saying that、uh, I believe that your、uh, work against,、uh, about speaking out、uh, has begun、uh, basically after you left uh, METI, uh, the ministry, and she was also referring、uh, to his involvement when he was at METI with、um, uh, a special deliberation committee、uh, that was discussing energy issues under、uh, Prime Minister Hashimoto. And、uh, there were many discussions that were being held about how people at METI、um, quite often had golf. Oh, Osaka Hashimoto. Ah, excuse me, I'm sorry, I thought it was Prime Minister Hashimoto. It was Mr. Hashimoto,、uh, the、uh, mayor now of Osaka, excuse me, the head of the Restoration Party, excuse me, closely affiliated with the Restoration Party,、uh, and uh, about uh, the close relationship that the bureaucrats had with、uh, the heads of、um, utility companies.、Um, but、uh, I would like to say, first of all, that、um, It is not that I have begun to speak out、uh, about many, many things since leaving METI. It is because I spoke out very openly about everything that I thought、uh, that I had to leave METI. Uh, and one of the things, of course, that I'm very, very concerned about is not only this idea that we're talking about today about freedom of、um, broadcasting, but also、uh, energy issues. In other words, the, the、um, nuclear uh, village uh, problem that we talk about quite often. And this is too huge a topic to go into detail today. But I would like to point out that the publisher Kodashan has issued、uh, several novels,、um, I think, called、uh, Nuclear Reactor Whiteout and Tokyo Blackout. And、uh, the author is a man named Mr. Wakatsugi. Wakasugi. 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 And it's actually、um, a pseudonym.、Uh, it's Tetsu. Retsu. It's a Retsu Wakasugi.、Uh, and、uh, he's using a pseudonym, but he's apparently an actually a, a, a ministry official. And、uh, the reason that he has decided to write fiction novels rather than、um, actual nonfiction books is that if he were to write a nonfiction book, and he goes into great detail about、uh, the nuclear industry and many things that are, have happened, but if you were to write a nonfiction novel, and, a nonfiction book, and come and make one small error, then it is obvious that he would immediately be、uh, subjected to a lawsuit. And probably would lose his job. And even though、uh, authors have worked very, very hard to try to gather evidence about all of the things that have occurred,、uh, this、uh, system has been put into place for decades now, and there has been a concerted effort by people involved、uh, to try to ensure that no evidence uh, basically uh, exists or is uh, available. Uh, if the true truth about the nuclear village were to eventually Come out, it would have to be from the mouth of someone who was truly at the heart of this village, maybe perhaps one of the presidents of one of the major utility uh, companies. Uh, and that, I think,、uh, would be very, very difficult uh, to, uh, for, to, to, to be realized.、Uh, what the media has done and what many journalists、uh, has, have tried to do is to look at the circumstantial evidence and draw conclusions and basically put together、uh, different stories. We know some of these uh,、um, aspects of the truth, but we don't know everything. So again, Again,、uh, the nuclear village issue and also the freedom of press issue, these are things that I think need to be pursued. Okay, well,、uh, thank you very much.、Um, and before、um, I end this,、um, I, I've been, uh, I, I watch uh, Holdo Station uh, sometimes, and I know that、uh, Furutachi san is probably watching, or he often、uh, makes requests of people to come and speak. And so I would like to make a request for him to come and speak at the press club. We had been discussing having him come、uh, before to talk about freedom of、uh, expression and freedom of press issues.、Um, and so, aside from this, we would like to have him come if, he, if it's possible. Thank you. And so, I would like to again thank our, our guest, um, uh, Mr. Uh, Koga, uh, for actually taking a fair amount of time actually going over、uh, today and、uh, having a far ranging discussion on、uh, freedom of、uh, expression, freedom of press issues. And also, what, what he's doing now and、uh, what he's actually trying to do. Anyway, thank you very much. And as is our usual、um, custom, we would like to give you an honorary membership for a year, but I think you already have one.、Um, so I don't know what we do in that case.、Uh, but anyway, I would like to give you another、uh, one year honorary membership. Thank you very much.